Hello everyone. Let me ask you a question. When you pray, do you use methods of prayers? Do many saints have uh, methods to pray? Number one, when you pray, you should do this. Number two, you should do this. Number three, you should do this. What is the best way to have that relationship with God called prayer? Maybe some people only use prayer to ask God things according to their will. Lord, I really want you to heal my father. He has cancer. Um, maybe you will say, Lord, I beg you. I am going to be in exams and I really want to pass. Lord, please, can I have a job? I don't have a job. I need a job. So, you see, this is the prayer called petitions. However, how does Jesus teach us how to pray? Because in the Gospel on this Sunday, in Luke chapter 11, Jesus was praying, then the disciples respected Jesus during his prayer time, and then when Jesus was finished praying, they said, Lord, teach us how to pray as John the Baptist taught his disciples how to pray. This is interesting, because if John the Baptist taught how to pray to Andrew, to John, well, if Jesus does the same and imitates John the Baptist, what, what's the point of Jesus coming into the world? Is it to do exactly what John the Baptist did, teaching the same thing? No. So, is Jesus going to meet their request? No, he's going to do better. So, instead of having a method, and Jesus doesn't teach a method, he said, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, and so on. You see, the first thing that Jesus wants to teach us is not the method, is to know that God is not just the creator, but a father, a father who loves us. And so, when Jesus said in chapter 15, before dying, I don't call you servant anymore, but friends, because everything I receive from my father, I made it known to you. You see, Jesus come into the world for two reasons. Number one, to efface original sin, to, to take away original sin. Number two, it is to make us children of God. And therefore, as child of God, we are invited by Jesus to recognize that God is not just Creator, but the Father who loves us. And therefore, the incarnation of Christ is first of all, and lastly, to make us know the Father and to be in communion with Him forever. So, if you take every single petition of the Our Father, there are seven, it's really, first of all, God is a Father, God is the Creator, He needs to be worshipped. After, second part of the Our Father, give us this day our daily bread, give, and so on, forgive us our trespasses. You see? So, let us, this week, when we pray, pray as Jesus taught us. First of all, and lastly, to establish this friendship with God. That's the best that we can do on earth. So sometimes we say, well, I prayed to God a lot, now I'm tired, he is silent, he doesn't fulfill my request. But look at what Jesus said, and this is the key for this Sunday. How much more will your Heavenly Father give you the Holy Spirit to those who ask for him? So if we want to be fulfilled in our request, let us ask, every day, each time we begin praying, Lord, send me the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of understanding, the Spirit of piety, and so on. And then you can be sure God will satisfy our request. God bless you.